This is the moment to put an end to the faceless and borderless economy. Just look at the world. Everywhere from Donald Trump's America to Narendra Modi's India, from Xi Jinping's China to Theresa May's Britain, the economic patriotism is winning. Look at the tens of thousands of jobs repatriated. In the U.S., companies are relocating, jobs and factories are being reopened. We are done with the illusions of free trade and naive globalism. Meanwhile, more than 60 politicians said they could no longer support Republican candidate Francois Fillon, who is facing charges for the alleged embezzlement of public funds. Let's go to Paris now. Let's go to Bloomberg's Karen Conan. She is standing by. Um, Walk me through how all the different stories are interacting with each other. You've got the legal battles with Fion. How's that feeding back into the Macron camp? How's that feeding into Le Pen? How did, how, and, and again, what they're saying, how does that feed back into the Republican story? So technically, the legal battles are having a big impact on François Fillon. He lost about five points uh, since the first investigation started at the end of January. It's having virtually no impact on Marine Le Pen uh, because the supporters of Marine Le Pen, her base, uh, already feels persecuted by the system. So they already feel that the judges uh, are trying to attack uh, their candidate. And of course, it's boosting the chances of Emmanuel Macron, who uh, Cans of sound like the reasonable one uh, in all this. If you look at the latest poll we had this morning from ELA, Marine Le Pen is stable at 27 percent and Emmanuel Macron is at 24 uh, percent. In the runoff, this uh, poll was actually from yesterday, but we had more recent number. Uh, exactly, this is it. Uh, so Marine Le Pen, you see, uh, still leading and uh, uh, Francois Fillon is below 20 percent. Also, Francois Fillon is not benefiting from uh, some of the electorate of Nicolas Sarkozy, the former French president, because actually a big portion of uh, Sarkozy's base has either gone to Emmanuel Macron, about 20% of them, or to Marine Le Pen, about 15% of them. And you're seeing all this exodus of uh, lawmakers, Republican lawmakers, who used to support François Fillon, who have now decided uh, to resign from his campaign. You had Bruno Le Maire a couple of days ago, and uh, now you had his campaign treasurer, and everybody is calling for Alain Juppé to come back. We'll have to see anything could happen in the next few days. Uh, Caroline, Alain Juppé has said he doesn't want to be um, the runner up here. Do you think he'll step in if needed? He would probably step in if needed on only one condition if François Fillon agrees. So basically, he doesn't want to put in jeopardy the process of François Fillon's uh, nomination, which was a democratic process. The Republican primaries, primaries that were held uh, mm -hmm. in November, Alain Juppé uh, came second. So Alain Juppé uh, has repeatedly said he doesn't want to uh, be a backup plan, but that could change, of course, if François Fillon uh, asks him to replace him. To replace him.